two people in the car. They're running. They're running. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Ow. 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 I'm down. Ow. Ow. Is there anybody Mama. else else at the car? No, Ow. Ow. Anybody with it? No. Ow. No. Wait. It ain't that Ow. bad. Hold on. Ow. Ow. What are you trying to get? Ow, nothing. Look. Reach in quit there. acting like that and quit reaching for I your pocket. I don't have nothing. Ow. I don't have nothing. What are you on parole for? Huh? Are you on parole? Yes. What are you on parole for? Ow! Hey, listen. Uh, my it's head. O it's over now. My head. It's over. How? Okay. Can you yell me my wrist? Well, quit, quit reaching for your pocket. I'm not. Get get everything before I stand him up. Uh, Ow! He was reaching for something. Please, like I'm that. not. Ow, let go of my hand, please. No, Just real quick. <laughs> Man! Please. Ow! It's great feet. Are you wanted by your agent? You are huh? Are you at large? Yeah. I don't have nothing on me. A little bit of weed. Yeah. All right. You got him. This is the stolen car. There's some bolt cutters in there. Looks like an assortment of different uh, different vehicle keys. People who uh, drive stolen cars a lot will carry an assortment of keys that have been shaved down to use. Hi there. What tonight? I was getting a ride from somebody to go over to my friend's house, and the next thing I know, he's running out of the vehicle, and now there's cops everywhere. Nothing's being explained to me. Nothing's being explained Except to you? Except for I guess I'm in a stolen vehicle, which I know nothing about. You didn't know anything about that? No, I did not. I'm being dropped off off the Rancho Vista way. How do you know that guy? It was a friend of mine. He was over there, downtown, a friend of mine, and she said if I need a ride, give him some gas money. Yeah. We got over here, next thing I know, he's out of the vehicle running away. There's all this going on. This is... No. You never experienced anything like this before? Oh, no, I have not. This you ever been arrested or anything? Yes, I have, which they just saw right here. Which all my stuff, my probation, everything's done. It just got dismissed because I'm going in the army. So you're off probation and everything? Yes. All right. Well, Tabitha, I'm sorry this happened to you. I'm sure these officers will take good care of you. But uh, unfortunately, that's what happens when, you know, people run from the cops like that. Well, for you did him, a good job by sticking around, though. What's that? I don't even know who he is. So, I mean, I hope just, you guys can. Just caught a ride with them? Yeah, exactly where I was. Okay. Okay. All right, Tabitha, for right now, you're going to go ahead and get you get to go home, okay? But a report will be written and forwarded onto the DA. Do you understand? Okay. All right. Hey, what's your first name? Anthony. Anthony. Yes. Who's your parole agent? He's a uh, lady. What's her name? Uh, I can't think of her name right now, bro. I'll tell you the truth. How long have you been on parole? What's the deal? Well, why are you running? Because, man, she told me that car was stolen. I told her, what do you got me driving a stolen car for? Oh, man. Who told it's you that? It's her car, dog. That ain't mine. Oh. I don't even know that. I haven't even talked to anybody else over there at the car right now, but... Dude? What are you on parole for? Huh? What are you on parole for? Um, possession. 
And what else? Huh? GTA. And GTA? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, is there anything you want to tell me? I, I don't have no sense. No, it's hers. Okay. All right, then. Well, uh, since you don't remember your parole agent's name, we'll, we'll, I don't. we'll figure serious. it out and we'll, I don't. we'll remind you. I did. You. I would tell you, sir. Okay. All right. Hello. Hello. Is this your car? That's her car. Your car? That's How long has it been stolen? Do you remember? Like two? It's been like, like a couple two weeks. weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Where weeks. was it taken from? Downtown. From, uh, downtown apartment. Her apartment complex behind it. Wow. <laughs> You glad to have it back or what? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's probably a little dirty, but oh, they don't care as long as they can drive. Oh my God. Yeah. I think the back window got broken out. This window you guys are looking through. Yeah, I trashed it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we got it back for you. Oh, there's cigarettes everywhere. The passenger of the vehicle got let go tonight, but uh, unfortunately for him, being on parole for the uh, the same offense of. Uh, being in possession of a stolen vehicle. He also had crystal methamphetamine on him. And uh, he'll be charged with that, the stolen car, and a parole violation. We came on together in uh, academy class of 01. And then uh, we kind of went our own ways for a couple of years. And then we've been partners for five years. It's like a second brother, and you know, what he's going to do and how he's going to act. And it's nice working uh, with the same guy and someone you can actually get along with and uh, know how they work. There's a car right now with a couple of officers are, uh, look, they, they look like they're going to stop a guy. They're running, they're running. Right there, right there, Juan, that's him. Get down, get down. Nine twenty three is with them. Who do you throw? Nine twenty three, we're going to walk. Stand up. Kevin. Yeah, he might have dropped something back there. That's where you're gonna be, all right? Spread your feet. Bang sharp on you? Nothing. Nothing? No needles, knives, guns, nothing? No. All right. Sit still. Who cares the pants you got? Two. Your squad over there. No, it's right Brandon, what you running for? You want to buy some drugs? Have a seat. Why are we running? Somebody was going to meet me. So I was going to buy some ecstasy. Right. I ain't want to Did you throw thing. anything? I ain't have nothing yet. You he was coming anything? out of his house, though. All right. Take your seat. See if he threw uh, some drugs or a gun or anything else. The wallet, right here. Yeah, it's crap. Nice. Yeah, my paper bag. Here. That's crap. We got him right here. So if he dumped whatever, it was it happened right here. It's uh, some, some Mexican guy that lives right down the block here. Oh. So we'll go talk to him. It's right, okay. It was kind of right by the crack that we found. Sure. No, sir. Not me. That's not my wallet. Did you throw a wallet? No wallet. Huh? I don't have no wallet, no crack, nothing. Not me. Somebody so else. You didn't throw anything. I swear to God, I didn't throw anything. I told y'all what I was going to do. No. So why'd you try to run? You ran right beside, you didn't throw the wallet or the crack. Now. I swear to God, I didn't throw no wallet, no crack. I'll take a lie detector test, anything. I promise you. So why'd you try to run from the officers? Because my man was finna come out of his house with a whole bunch of uh, something. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get the away from there. I didn't throw no wallet, no crack, not me. What was he coming out with? With some ecstasy. You know well, if you didn't have anything on him, on you, why did you run? No wallet, no crack, not me. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Should we go look for this guy? 
Yeah. Hola. Hola. Uh, ¿Se encuentra el manual? ¿Qué, uh, ¿Cómo la perdió? ¿No sabes? Ah, rompieron el vidrio. Ahí está la huella del, del, del cómo es. Creo que tenía el carro. His wallet was in the car. And uh, it's like this guy that ran from us stole his wallet out of the, out of the car parked right in front here. <laughs> okay. Oh, gracias. Dale. Que la bien. So basically, this guy's that wallet. Yeah. His uh, I get the Manuel. His car is parked out on the street. He broke his window, stole the wallet out of his car. Do you have any cash in there? He said that he had, that he did have some money, but he said he couldn't remember how much exactly. Yeah. yeah. So when you guys got him, I don't know if he was by the car, but he took off. He must have just thrown the car the wall. They were right there next to each other. Yeah. Yeah, literally across the street, for where he dumped the bike. That's where the this other victim lives. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. literally right across the street. I will add that on too. Man. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I'll add a little supplement if you want that I went and talked to him or whatever. Okay. So on and so forth. Said that his window had been busted and his wallet had been stolen. Okay. I appreciate it. Ah. We're gonna book him for the crack and then put you on foot. Perfect. Sure. All right. We'll talk yeah. to you guy here quick. Sure. This is Brandon, why don't you tell us uh, what really went on here? I ain't got nothing to say, man. Huh? I ain't got nothing to say, man. So you weren't really out here to buy ecstasy? Yeah, I was. So, how'd you get the wallet? I didn't have no wallet, man. I did not have any wallet. Okay. So you had like $150 on you? Yeah. Where, do you have a job? Yep. Where do you work? I sell weed. You sell weed for a job? Yep. All right, but you didn't break into the car, you didn't steal the wallet, and you didn't have any oh, my crack my grandfather on you. gray. My grandfather just died yesterday. I put that on everything I love. Okay. I did not break into no car. Tell us what, uh, what really happened. What really happened was I was coming to drop the crack off for somebody. That's what happened. And he didn't show up, or? No. I guess not. I mean, the wallet was right beside the crack. But I didn't have anything to do with no wallet. All right. He's going to be getting charged with possession of crack cocaine. He will also be uh, charged with the, uh, that wallet that was stolen from the vehicle, along with running away from the officers. He's going to walk away with three charges. I think the most dangerous calls that we have are domestics. You're going into their environment, into their house. You, know, you don't know what type of weapons there are at the house. You don't know who's the aggressor. Um, so we try to get in and the people and find out but those are usually our most dangerous calls to go to. All right, attempting to catch up to a vehicle I just saw um, parked on the side of the roadway and a white male jumped out of it and uh, hopped over a fence. I'm gonna find out what she's doing. Met 14, out of state traffic. Grove and Foothill. Unknown state, and I'll get it for you in a second. It's gonna be a silver. Stay in the car, Toyota Cressida. Stay in the car. Hello. Have a seat in the car for me, okay? Do you have a driver's license on you? I don't. Okay, how come? Because it's at home. My name's Cindy. Are you on parole or probation? Ever been arrested before? Um, well, yeah, a long time ago. Like for what? Um, a drunk. For what? Drunk driving. Drunk driving, that's it? Yeah, drunk in public. Okay. So who is it that you dropped off over there? Um, I think his name's John. He lives in... You think? Yeah. So what was all that? A little dope deal go down or what? What was, what was all that about? No, I gave him a ride from Dean's. You just gave him a ride just from Dean's? He couldn't have walked that far? I, that's what I said. That's what I said. That seems a little fishy to me. I was going to see... That does? Huh? That does? Yeah. Well, but it's not. Code four. Okay, what's your first name? Cynthia, C-I-N-D-Y, or Cindy, C-I-N-D-Y. What do you, what's your legal name? Cynthia. C-Y? Mm -hmm. Well, no, I'm sorry, that's not, it's my legal name, Cindy, C-I-N-D-Y. Do you have anything illegal on you? No. Anything? No. Marijuana? I can smell something. Do you have a pipe? Dig around, hey. Don't. I'm trying to think if okay, I okay. have a we'll just, pipe. Okay, me. I can smell, I can smell marijuana of some sort. Okay, well, I, yeah. Do you have a pipe in there? Um, do you have a sp so. Yeah, you don't think so? No, I, don't think I know so. what's in my car. Yeah. Well, I don't. I think I left it at my my brother-in-law's house. I was visiting. The When's the last time you smoked marijuana? How about that? Today. Okay, what time? I don't know. This is like I don't know. At ten when we went to the pool or something like that. 
Okay. Smoked? How much you smoke? Not much. It's just okay, where's your stash at? I don't have a stash. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't have a stash. Has this car been stolen before? No. What's What What happened here? I, I, no. This car belongs Four and to six. It. Is everything in here yours, you think? Uh, no. No? But that purse is yours, right? The green purse? No. That's not your purse? Is this car yours? No. It's not yours. Okay, who is it registered to? Um, I think it's registered to Ron. Okay, I think it's who it's registered to, but J.R. Okay. okay I mean, are you in possession of the car right now? Yes. You are? Okay. I'm just transporting it. That's fine. Hand me that purse. Let me see if I can at least see if there's some identification in there that might be you. No, no, let me see it. Let me look. Easy, easy, okay. easy. Why relax. Why just go to the park? Because that's not what I do. Okay, now I want you to step out for me. I want you to have a seat right there on the curb. And we're going to look for my license. Okay? I am going to shut the door. Have a seat right there for me, okay? So I want you to sit down. There you go. So you say you have no idea whose purse this is? I think it's the people that own the car. Okay. 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 This wallet? Not yours? Nope. Who is Gina... You don't know? Nope. It's not you? No, it's not me. Is oh. That, you think that's me? I don't know. 5'3", 115 pounds. Yeah. I'm not 5'3". Let me see. Look up at me. Hmm. 11 met 14. Clear for another name? Think Gina's ever been arrested? Yeah. Yeah? You think so? Yeah. Yeah? I'm Gina. Really? Yes. Do you think this is my first day? Okay. First of Gina, 14 of 57, 57. Gina, why would you give me another name like that? Because I've been in trouble before, and I hate the police. They ruin your life. I hate the police. That's why. They why would ruin you hate? Lives. Why? Ruin, why would you hate they police? They ruin lives. I love paramedics. Love a fireman. You know. I just hate police. Yes, ma'am. Love this stuff. You know. They ruin lives. That's why I hate police. I'll give you any name but mine. Guess what? What? You have a warrant. No kidding. Okay, stand up for me. Turn around, place your hands behind your back for me. I'll, let me do that, okay? Right. Just relax. Let me do all this for you. Yes. Okay. I don't even usually take warrants in, but you know. Oh, sure you don't. I'm I sure usually you don't. don't. Nothing, sure nothing just minor. Don't. Now, Gina. Sure now that we're on. For a now that we're friends. Now that we're friends. Now, is there anything yeah. illegal in the car? No. Not that I know of, and that's the truth. Okay. Okay, and that is okay. the honest to goodness truth. Now, how about this whole thing about this car being... That's the, no, that no. Is all so true. that's all true? That's all true. How am I to know that's true? Well, because I guess you can run it and find out. Well, I'm going to, but you did, li you did lie to me earlier, honestly, right? Honestly, yes, I did. You did. And the so, taxi right there, that business car. Okay, right there, okay. That's it, honestly. I need to run the VIN right now, okay? So what I'm going to have you do is go back here and this um, I unit for this me. this nice officer. Thank yes, you. this nice officer right here. Thank you. I'm this propane lighter right here on the side, used for smoking uh, methamphetamine and or cocaine. And usually when they do that, they heat up glass pipes like this. Came to, it's round, it's been heated so many times, and sat down, it says, sat down on something, went flat. Hello, Gina. Now, how about the methamphetamine pipe that I found in the um, right-hand side of the vehicle? Um, that, if it's yours, it's yours. Just be, it Okay, could it could be yours, okay. Do you really think you should be doing that? I don't think it's, you know, it's, it's you know, like, good for you, okay? Will you think about Deputy Gould the next time you smoke methamphetamine? Oh, I'm gonna think about you a lot. And uh, out here, it just seems that it's never slow. It never slows down. Sometimes the faces change, but, you know, the game's still the same. If you pick somebody off and you got five more guys that'll step right in and take their place, you know, it's, it's the way it evolves out here. You know, just, one guy goes down, there's three guys in line waiting to take his spot. We're going over to a house where we got information earlier from a confidential informant. We got a box of marijuana that's going to a house over here that we're going to uh, deliver. We have an officer posing undercover. It's going to go over to the house. He's going to contact a... Uh, guy that's sitting out front he's been sitting there for a while like he's waiting for this box and if everything goes well they're gonna do the exchange once the exchange is done 
we're going to move in and take them down and um, go from there. At this point right now, it looks like the box contains about two pounds of weed. Okay, we're set up in the area. We're just going to wait now for the eyeball to give us a signal when the takedown's ready. Hey, Chris, do me a favor. Once uh, you see the exchange, you're calling it, and we're going to move on you. Once you see it, you let us know, and we're going to move in. 10-4? All right, 10-4. We're set up to the east. All right, guys. George is walking up to the uh, front door right now. Stand by. All right, George has a package. Suspect's still on the front porch. All right, looks like he's uh, speaking with a male up at the front door in the front doorway of the house. Still having conversation, hasn't ha passed it off yet. Stand by. All right, guys, uh, Wagers, I'm coming off the rooftop. Coming off the rooftop, 10-4, Tito. All right, package is passed off. Move in, move in. All right, guys, move in, move in. George is taking them down. George is taking them down, move in. All right, 10-4, it's a go, it's a go. Go, the signal's been given, move in. Come out here. Come out here. Come out here. Come outside. Now, is there anyone else in this house? Go ahead. Y'all go in. Okay, we got it. I'm with you. I'm right behind you. I think you're good over there. I'm holding on this. It's going to be done. Are we good? Yeah, clear. Yes, I'll stay here. This box yours? I don't, man, look here. My father ordered something for the um truck right there. Oh, yeah? What came in the other UPS box today? That stuff been here, man. What was in it? That stuff been I had clothes, I had papers and everything in that box. That were delivered to you? No, no, that came from my grandmother's house in Hollandale. Uh-huh. Why would you accept the bag uh, box for travel? I don't... Man, look at uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. I don't know what's going on. I promise you I don't know what's going on. I'm sure. Yes, man. You swear to God? I swear, man. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Where's the other box? Basically, we're going to cut in the box, but we'll keep the, uh, the shipping label to be able to show that he, uh, that he accepted a box to a Travis, and, uh, which is not him. Uh, there's nobody that resides here by that ad, by that name. He was pacing back and forth on the phone. He's been waiting for this all day. So he knows he already told me <clears throat> that, you know, the weed's his. You can feel the weight in this. Package right in the center. If you squeeze it, you can feel a big block in the center. And surprise. And one or two. When you pulled up in the car, what do you say? when you walked up, what do you say? Oh, when I walked up there, I told him, I said, look, I live down here on 19th Street. Um, I got a package. It says it's supposed to come here. It was brought by UPS. Was, uh, so why did they take the your address? I said, dog, I don't know, man. I said, but I brought it here. It said it comes to this address. Do you want it or not? He was like, yeah, yeah, man. I need that. I need that package. So can you give me 40 for my trouble? He told me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, dog, you didn't even want to walk off the porch because of your, uh, your own house arrest. Said, right. How are you going to bring me the money? Okay. So basically, he took the package. As soon as he took the package, I didn't see anybody moving in at the time. Right. That's not took him down myself. Okay. This has a bond. All right. It's possession with the intent to deliver. It's not trafficking. It's not a huge case. But yeah. bottom line is this: you need to be up front because you're going down for it. Understand. That's the bottom line. Understand. I'm not going to lie to you. Understand. The more honest and upfront you are regarding this, the easier it's going to be on you in court and in, in front of the judge. But ultimately, you knew what was coming here. It's, it's you messed up. You dropped the ball. Okay. I'm gonna tell you everything. I You're don't know. I don't know nothing about that. That box right there. I had belongings in them boxes right there. I had speaker okay, wires. Let me ask you a question. Everything. Why would you accept this? I don't know, but I know it's, it's, it's not mine for real. I promise. I promise you. I was. My life is straightened out, man. I don't no. have that. But one. But you're lying right one, now. You're lying right now. The bottom line is, when I walked up to you, I told you I had the package. You looked at me. You said, Yeah, I need that package. That's what you said. You even said that you would pay me $40 for it. So don't sit up here now, dog, and talk about that you didn't tell me that the package wasn't yours. The package was yours. You took it. That's when you got taken into custody. Period, plain and simple. This is a situation. So the problem is, is that you need to sit up here and just go ahead on and man up. Yeah, it's mine. I was going to take the box. So don't act like it's not yours. To sit here on this on this couch and tell me that you don't know nothing and that you got nothing to do with it, that's crazy. You know that, and I know that. Now I'm gonna go talk to your girlfriend, and I have to talk to her because this is her place. I gotta find out what her involvement is. That's it. That's mine. Okay. She's not going out for nothing. I'll I just gotta check all that. Come here. Get up. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Have him open the car.
You got nothing on you, right? No property. I don't have nothing on you. Huh? Yeah, I know. I'm just opening the door. You want to change out cuffs? Uh, something ironic and funny about this whole thing. Found that he was wearing this rubber bracelet that says, My future is bright, drug free. And then on the inside it says, Winners don't do drugs. So it's kind of funny that he's getting this, wearing this, and uh, his future's bright. Oh well. I really like working in this area. I actually feel pretty privileged to get to work this district. It's very historical. Monument over there, the Battleship Texas, San Jacinto Battleground, Sam Houston fought Santa Ana, very historical area. And we just got sent to a uh, disturbance call, the trailer park. Reportees advising that uh, people are fighting, they're, she's afraid they're going to hurt her. Forty-three Frank 30, have the other unit step it up. Frank 30, are you under control? Get your hands out of your pockets. Stop. 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 Get down on the ground. You too, brother. Get down. Get down. Hands out. That's fine. Get down. Get down all the way down, fella, like I said. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay? Just stay loose, stay cool. <laughs> Don't Do you have the move. Badge? Get down. Do you have a badge? Yeah. I'm the police. Get down. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Lock him down. Get your hands back behind your back, bro. Get your hands back behind your back. <laughs> Frank, 30 units are out. We got two detained. We're under control now. My father, I didn't expect my father to go psycho on me and my aunt. What store is he allegedly robbed? Down here, down here, the people know me. He went in there, grabbed beer, stole beer, ran down the street. So he didn't just rob. Now. Just now. He just he just stole some beer. Yeah, he ran in the store with the beer. With they, they know that's my son. You know, I came Can y'all hold this? I'm gonna go check on the trailer because yeah. whoever was calling. What trailer you in? Sixteen. Sixteen. All right, just so stay loose. I'll be right back. She's down there giving him pills in here. Got him all. Up to go do that, you know. This is it. Sheriff's office. Three north twenty nine. I have it already. Hey there, you okay? <laughs> huh? You scared me. You're scared? Yeah. You okay? Come here. Come here. Can you sit down or no, babe? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I locked the doors and I don't want anyone to find him in my house. Yeah. And Paul, he, he done his business and started breaking out my window. Who's Paul? It, Paul? Is Paul the young one or the, the older, older one? one? The older one? Yeah. Does he live here? No. Uh, so why is he here tearing up your stuff? Well, I, I was in the process of moving stuff. You know, okay. Just, uh, I just didn't live here. Is anybody else here? No, just me and my disability dog back there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I was, I was just doing a little bit of laundry so I could you know, get my thing ready to move. All right, you're okay, though. They didn't hurt you at all? No. Okay, do you need to get checked out or anything before we walk off? No, it's just his son. You know, his son didn't want to fight or nothing. Didn't but Paul wouldn't have that, huh? No. Yes, ma'am. All right, hang on right here, okay? I'll be right back. Tell me what happened here tonight, Nathan. Well, me and my father went out in the convenience store, and he was going to buy a six-pack of beer. And he's been drinking. I mean, he has alcohol problems. So okay. He's, he's been drinking since 8 this morning. So he's been drunk all day. And, you know, I called my mother, you know, his ex-wife. They've been divorced for 10 years. And I'm just I'm just talking to her, telling her, telling her I've been okay. okay. I, haven't, I haven't seen my father in four years. Okay. So we insist we go to the store. All and right. I give him I give him five dollars to get himself a six pack, right? Okay. And then he he doesn't do that. And then I got in a rage, and yes, I deserve to go to jail because I ran in the store, and I grabbed a 16 ounce. But when I ran down the street, the lady came down and said, "Just give me three dollars." I gave her ten dollars, and she went on her way. Okay. And I took my 16 ounce back home. And when I got home, he came home. Okay. And hit me in my face. 
All right. And that's when I tried walking away. And all this happened inside the trailer? Outside the trailer. Outside the trailer, and okay. Then he, and then he punched out my aunt's window. Uh-huh. All right, Nathan. Do me a favor. Wait right here. Try and calm down, okay? Thank you, sir. I'll be back in a minute. Thank you, sir. Okay. So what's going on here tonight, Paul? Let me hear your side of it now that everything's calmed down. Uh, I just went to the store up there, and my, my son, the lady came out there, and she goes, you know, your son just stole beer out of the store. Mm -hmm. I was on the telephone. You know, talking to his mom, and then comes back up there and tells me that he paid her the money for the beer that he stole. What happened to the trailer? Oh, they're down there, and Nathan was down there, and just he was all drunk and messed up on pills. Okay. So what happened to her, her window and everything? Oh, Nathan was down there. He, he, one thing led to another thing. That don't tell me anything. What happened to the window? Specifically tell me what happened to the window. I ended up breaking out the window. You ended up breaking out the window. Actually, Why? Trying to get Nathan out of there. Trying to get Nathan out of there. Yeah. Why were you trying to drag him out? Because he was in there doing pills. You know, he shouldn't have been in there. Huh. You know, I mean, basically, I don't know what my sister's doing, but she shouldn't have been inside there. Well, there's been property damage. There's been some assaulting going on. That means that some people have been getting hit. Okay. Well, got hit. Well, I'm hearing stories, so now you're saying that y'all didn't get into it at all? We hollered and screamed at each other. Y'all didn't push on each other, didn't hit each other, you didn't drag him out of that trailer? No, I didn't drag No, he ran. <laughs> oh. He ran. Well, this is what's going to go on, okay? Your property, her property, whatever, okay? You're going to go to jail tonight, period, and so is he, okay? Because no, everybody's no, telling me all these different no, stories. No. I don't have any way to tell the truth. When we get in front of a judge, then y'all can hold court there, okay? But tonight, you're definitely going to jail, period, okay? I'll be right back with you. Stay loose. Hey, tonight, you're going to be going to jail. He's going to jail, and we'll get this sorted out in court later. But that's what's going to happen for tonight, okay? Yes, sir. My spare time, I uh, do about anything I can that, that involves me getting out of the town, getting uh, down to the beach. I scuba dive a lot. I go fishing. I like going out on a boat in the middle of the ocean, go surfing during the winter, do snowboarding, just about everything I can to get outdoors and kind of get my head out of work. We're en route to a residential neighborhood. A reporting party uh, called in and said that there's a uh, Hispanic male subject riding his bike in circles on a cul-de-sac. He appears to be under the influence of some kind of uh, drugs. They want us to go out there and check him out. A whole bunch of people. Wow. Come here, sir. Talk to my partner. Come here, bud. Talk to my partner, okay? What's up, bud? How you doing, sir? Yes, sir. You got any ID on you, anything like that? Uh, Mom, I just live over here. Okay, what's yes. going on tonight? This gentleman uh, earlier tonight. Who, who, which gentleman? The gentleman the owner that... of this home. And he, he's the pool cleaner, and he's not, you know, he's part of the homeowners association, but what was totally... He kicked my family out yeah. at 7.45. Okay. And the pull hours until 8 o'clock and, and put his hands in my wife's face. I've got all kinds of, you know, okay. witnesses to the situation. So what were your intentions when you came over here? I mean, were you to, gonna... to talk to him and go, because we all live in this, in this area. I understand that. It, it was, it... But do you think maybe having a couple drinks and coming over here to confront somebody that messed with your wife is a smart thing? or? No, I mean, but you, you talk to my wife right now. No that, problem. I understand that, but, it, you know, if you have a problem, you call us and we'll come over here and talk to him. But I don't think it's smart for you to, you know, to have a couple of drinks and then come over here tonight and, you know, confront this him. This guy was totally wrong. And, and I, regardless I, I, of who's would, wrong or right. I would right, invite you to talk to my wife. It was, that's not a problem, but who's, regardless who's wrong or right. It was too much, bro. Sounds it like he made beyond. a mistake. We'll, we'll talk to him right now it and see what's beyond. going on. Just hang out against Sir, the car real quick. Is he hammered drunk to you or... Uh, no, I, you know, I really don't, I, I don't think so, but I don't know why he reacted at, at, at 7.40 right. when the pool yeah. was supposed to be closed at 8, and he it's kicks my kids out on. and disrespects my wife and puts his hand right. in her face. Hey, hey Larry, I'm going to ask you again one more time what, what happened. Basically, all I'm supposed to do is close the pool at 8 o'clock. Okay. I got there at 7.55 and closed the pool. I told everybody to get out of the pool. Uh -huh. And uh, his, I didn't even know it was his wife. I just, there was a woman there that was sitting in a chair talking to cell phone, and she got upset because I was closing the pool. 
Mm -hmm. She says, well, wait a second. My watch says it's only um, 7.55, yeah. and you're not supposed to close the pool to 8 o'clock, so why are you having my kids get out of the water now? And I looked at her, and I says, I need to close the pool now. I'm sorry everybody needs to leave, yeah, yeah. right? I'm sorry if you don't like it, but that's the way it goes, yeah. you know? Come back tomorrow. You're just doing your job, right? I'm just doing my job, yeah. you know? I'm sorry, you know, if you don't like it, call the homeowners association. And then what happened after that? All of a sudden, somebody's riding a bike in front of my house. My neighbor gets freaked out, mm -hmm. calls the police. And that's when we came out earlier. That's right. Okay. He drives back to his house. In discussion. Then he comes back again. I come out this time and say, dude. Was he riding his bike when you saw him? Again, yes. He was just doing circles right here in the cul de sac? He came out. Well, he knows my truck because okay. I'm the red truck that cleans okay. the pool. Well, I'm just asking, you With saw him riding the bike? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so all of a sudden he's back again. Right. Starting to start something with me. And I come out and say, guy, look it, I didn't even know it was your wife, first of all. Second of all, I didn't, wasn't trying to dis disrespect anybody. All I was trying to do is close the pool. Doing your job. I'm doing my job. That's why I have the keys for the pool. And he wants to start rah, 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 and I'm whoa. And, and did and he push you or? He pushed me, but my neighbors came out and all of a sudden, you know, he, you know, but it doesn't make any sense to me. I'm kind of, come on, dude, I'm doing my job. Why do you want to get me in a fight over? And you weren't even there. You right. didn't even see what happened. Yeah. All right. And he's right. been drinking. And he's been okay. drinking. I asked him, that was the first thing I asked him. Or have you been drinking? He said yes. And I says, come on, dude. We don't want to fight. Yeah. yeah. All right, come sir. On. Just hang out. So how much have you had to drink tonight? Uh, about three or four beers. Three or four beers? And you're out riding around on a bicycle? Yes, sir. Yes? What I'd like to do now, the last test is called the pulmonary alcohol screening device. It's not a chemical test or one or two required tests, which are required by state law. Okay? So it's not a required test. What I'd like you to do is take a deep breath, see your lips on here, and blow as hard as you can, as long as you can. I'll tell you to start. I'll tell you to stop. Okay? Deep breath, blow. Harder, harder. Keep going a little bit harder. Very good. I didn't do anything. I'm on a bicycle. You decide to confront the gentleman that lives here. He's saying at one point you push him. Okay? Yeah, You're yeah. intoxicated. Yeah. Okay? You should have never left your house and got on that bike. And if you have a problem, that's what we're here for. To take care of that for you, so you don't get yourself if in trouble. If you felt that your wife I was, that, if that. you felt that your wife was disrespected in any way, it, it was just okay, over, you it, probably it was, should have called us instead of taking matters into your own hands. Showing up at people's houses does not solve any problems. I'm sorry. What's that say? One eight three. Point one eight three. You're the legal limit to operate a motor motor vehicle in the state of California. Yes. Oh wait. You're two and a half times the legal limit if you're operating a motor vehicle. But you're operating a bicycle. And that also is a misdemeanor state of California. Turn around, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest. The gentleman was like totally wrong with my wife. I, I, I didn't do anything when I came over here. Didn't push him at all? No, sir. Did not touch. Okay. You're riding a bike. Intoxicated. I've had a couple of beers, but I'm not. You're twice the legal limit. Okay. Keep your hands down. What are you doing walking in the middle of the road? I was walking in there, but I'm trying to get back. Stop. Come here. That's 43 Frank 30. He tried to jerk away from me. Hang on, hang on, because he was reaching down. No se mueve. Cállate. CM2. I'm with SO. We just had a, he had a fight when we're at Brownwood and Freeport. We got one on the ground. We have him detained right now. Hang on, this is we what have he's some after. other subjects by my car. You have another unit go that way. Get them out. Oh, I'll finish on my own. That other guy just dropped stuff by your tire. Okay. 22, show me around. You ready? Yeah. What were y'all doing? Huh? No. No, you Okay. 
I got to You were You were speaking English a second ago. You forgot it, I guess. He kept ignoring me, acting like he didn't hear me. I chased him down. When I got the cuff on him, he started to try and wrestle away from me. Took him down to the ground, got him cuffed up. We're gonna find out what's going on with these three. Forty-three Frank Thirty under control. Frank Thirty, say yes. Watch that guy. He is. I've dealt with him several times. Hey, uh. Who's your Spanish speaker? Stop right Q. there. Q. I need a Spanish speaker here. Oh. Just to back up. Why? Stan got him? Yeah, I got him. Why you throw that down? Nobody threw nothing down. Keep your hands down. I didn't throw it down. Keep your hands down. She had I sat it. right over there and watched you do it she while I was messing with that other idiot. She threw, threw it down. You're lying through your teeth. I, ask her. She had it. You're just ask, lying because no, you got caught. Ask her, officer. Ask Crystal. Tell her. She's Chris. not going to take the rap for you. Tell Crystal. That's it. She said it's hers. It's hers, officer. I promise. I watched you throw it I, down. I threw it down. I swear. She did. I promise. You can we put him in your car? You can ask anybody that throws. She had it on her. We seen you throw it. Sit down. Sit down. Why was it underneath my car? I'm Can we get name and DLB? Sure. Start clicking away on him, okay? Can I get my ladder? No, you can put your hands behind your what back. Am I doing? Put your hands behind your back. I haven't even done anything. What am I going to jail for? Did I say you were going to jail? Okay. Did I say you were going to jail? Okay then. Now's not the time to get a bad attitude about everything, okay? Yeah, hey, uh, definitely check uh, the purse and bag and everything else. Okay. What's your name again? Hello, what's your name again? Carlos? Carlos, when I was over here, I looked right no, back at you. you. Know I didn't did. say move your leg. You know what she did? She took it out of her pants. You can go back to the park. I looked right at you, Carlos. No, sir. Listen, please. You can stick it out of her pants and hand her. I knock it down. That's all. I swear. I swear to God, I can prove it. Carlos, how many more times am I going to have to run into you? I didn't do it. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to stay clean. I swear off. You're not doing a very good job of it. You are going to jail tonight for possession. Period. There's no if ands. Don't bang on the cage. But, sir, you know, Don't do any of that. I break my shirt up and showed you that I didn't have nothing. I looked right at you, Carlos. Right at you. I, I saw what you were doing. She's God. also going to jail for possession, and he's going to jail for resisting. Okay. Sir, we saw you throw it. I told I, you. Listen I, to me, Carlos. I, 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 I swear to God, I can prove it. How can you prove it, Carlos? I can take you over there to the apartment. And Phil then will tell you that she carried the with her. She had it in her purse. I told her to take it out of her damn purse. Leave it. She put it in right there. Right so you there. knew she had it? She, uh -huh. So you knew she had it? I knew it, it before. She, I, I thought she got rid of it. Then she put it right there. I said, did you get rid of it? She goes, yes. Okay, watch your leg. Watch your leg. Crystal. Did, was that crack pipe in that sock? Whose is that? I don't know whose it was. You don't know whose it was? I didn't see it. You didn't see it? Ow. No. You didn't see it at all? Mm -hmm. The apartment you just came from, were y'all smoking crack over there? What apartment? No. So y'all didn't come from an apartment? I just went over there to use the bathroom. My stuff's at the other house, but he's gone. The purse you had on you, is that your purse? So everything in that What's purse is yours, correct? Right? So my friend gave it. Huh? My friend gave it to me. My friend gave you the purse? So the cocaine that we found in the purse is not yours? What are you talking about? What? This cocaine was in your purse. So whose is that? I don't know. Where was it? In your cigarette pack, in the purse, that you had on your shoulder when we stopped you. Where was it? In the cigarettes? No, it was in the cigarette pack. So this is yours? I didn't have it. You know, Crystal, I think you're kind of lying to us a little bit tonight, okay? She's going for the possession of cocaine. The crack pipe, 
possession of cocaine on Carlos and evading and resisting on the other guy. So all three of them go down for walking in the road, starting off. I decided to come to work in the city of Rancho Cucamonga. It's a big city, um, has all different types of crime. The command staff's great. The people that uh, work at the station are really good. Everyone uh, works as a team, and uh, there's a lot of opportunity at the station. Special assignments, and uh, there's a lot of resources here at Rancho. Up ahead uh, in front of us, we just had a red motorcycle go around two cars that were stopped at the red light. He went into oncoming traffic and went westbound. Uh, we're going to see if we can attempt to catch up to him. We heard in pursuit of a red motorcycle, westbound arrow approaching Grove. There he goes. It's going to be Cal personalized. Edward. Ida Ocean Nora, he just went. Get down! Put your hands around your back! Let's see your hands! Let's see your hands! Met 14, roll meds. Met 14, we have the subject detained. You can roll meds to Arrow and Grove. And we need another unit to shut down traffic. We're in the middle of the street. Pull the gloves off. <laughs> Easy out. Is he out? He's away. He's Is he? Away. You're awake? Get this backpack yeah, up. Oh, he's drunk, dude. I can smell the alcohol. I'm awake. Okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. Here. Are you injured? I'm awake. I'm awake. Are you injured? No. What are you running for? Watch out. You want probation or anything? No. No? Are you injured at all? No. Is your neck hurt? No, I'm fine. Physically, I'm fine. What's your name? Damn. Why are you run, man? What are you doing? Why would you do that? I didn't realize I was running. You ran two red lights. You passed three cars here trying to get away from us. We had our lights and siren on for over a mile. And then you ran this red, lock, red light and you crashed as a result of it. Why? How much you had to drink tonight? Probably quite a bit. Quite a bit? We uh, smell it on you. We're at Baker and Arrow. Stopped at the red light behind two cars. The bike's here. He goes around all the cars and blows the red light westbound. We go straight out, lights and siren. He's right in front of us, takes off, gasses it, goes around three cars in opposite lane of traffic, comes up here, slows down for the dip, red, red light, face, facing another red light, makes a turn, loses it from underneath, crashes, and that's where he's at. Reeks of booze. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Consider yourself a good rider? I do, but you're responsible. Why is that? Because you've been drinking? Yeah. I should have known better. Just a mistake. Is that your bike, man? Yes, sir. It's a nice bike. Aprilia is a nice bike. Actually, it's actually a good thing you guys actually did what you did. What, what, what got into you? I mean, we were, saw you at the light right there. Oh, you went around the car, ran the red. It wasn't the intention. It was just... I mean, what were you thinking? You, you're lucky to be standing here right now, you know that? All it would have taken was a wrong turn and you would have been killed. It wasn't the intention. It yeah. was just... Is it just, I mean, is it the alcohol driving or, I mean, what was it? I don't understand. But we're just glad you didn't kill yourself or anybody else. I appreciate but, uh, that you're here. Yeah. Well, what I did was, is what I did, and it's like... You made a bad decision. But lucky you're alive to talk about it, right? Right? Thanks, guys. All right, I'll have a seat, bud. Right here. Where do you want me to be? We just sit right here, okay? Are you hurt at all? You're good? You're only going about two, three miles an hour when you crash. I'm all right. I'm all right. Where are you coming from tonight? Ranch Kamoga area. You know what city you're in right now? No, sir. No? no. You know what time it is? Like 10 30, maybe? How much alcohol have you had to drink tonight?
Oh, about five beers. Five what beers? Time did you bust? Hey, Brad, you got his ID? So yeah. Can... Over the course of how much? What time? What time did you start drinking? 6.45 p.m. Okay, we're going to do a pulmonary alcohol screening test, though. Let's get you to stand up. You understand it's not a required test, okay? You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. All you got to do is sew your lips on here, take a deep breath, tell you when to stop. Yes, sir. <laughs> deep breath. Yes, sir. Seal. Blow. Good. You want to sit back down so you don't fall? Of course. Thank you. Yeah, if... I apologize. <laughs> It's embarrassing right off the bat, but... I'm just glad you didn't kill yourself. Uh, in an intersection, I would have been taking more, but... What's that say right there? Really high amount. What's that say? 0.219. Yeah. You're about two and a half times the legal limit. Okay. You're under arrest for operating a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol. Go ahead and stand up. Who's cussing better? I'm just switch them Let's give him. Thanks, guys. Okay, we'll jump set back to save your life, man. It's a learning lesson. Thanks. Three violations. Red light one, two vehicles, unsafe passing, unsafe speed, yeah. and red light here. They slowed down to take that turn. Here's what we got going on this afternoon. Um, a couple hours ago, the supermarket, we had four subjects go inside. They all went in separately, wandered around the store, they went over to the bakery section, they ordered a cake, the cake was given to them, um, they concealed the cake, and then they basically ran out of the store. Security tried to stop them. Um, on the way out, they did get a license plate. The license plate does come back down the street. We do have cause to arrest the white female that's wearing the green shirt. All right, thanks guys. We're gonna go ahead and attempt to contact these possible uh, commercial burglary suspects. Although the theft was only a cake, the way they entered the store and separated and started uh, stalking the aisleways and the loss prevention officers and the manager was uh, clearly indicative of uh, our typical burglary suspects out here. Okay, let's look for that blue Ford Ranger truck. 10 4. The building's up there to the right. Chances are if they're parked here, they're going to be right in front of the building or across the way. I'm not locating the truck. You can go ahead and come on in. We'll make contact up top and uh, see who's in the house. Find out what happened to the truck. The apartment's down here on the bottom. First floor under the stairwell. So we'll knock over here and find out what's going on. Got a note on the door. <sighs> Please knock on a window. Go ahead. Doggy. Are you Cheryl? Yeah. You mind if I come in and talk to you real quick? Sure. Okay, great. Are you the only one home right now? No. Okay. Um, what I need to speak to you about, do you own a Ford Ranger? Yeah. Okay, is it here right now? No. No? Okay, where is it at? Um, my daughter went shopping with it. Your daughter went shopping? What's your daughter's name? Shauna. Shauna? Where was she earlier then? She was out shopping. She came home and dropped stuff off. Oh, okay. She Do you know what she bought? Um, some TV uh, turnovers. But, um, so she brought some pastries home? Yeah. Okay. Was there a special occasion for that or anything? Or just, no. Uh -huh. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the cake's inside, so we'll wait, and maybe they'll show up in the truck, and that'll be good. We can put a body with the uh, stolen property. We've got a Ford Ranger here. I'm advised uh, 50 Paul 4 that the uh, suspect vehicle just showed up at the apartment complex. Huh? Turn the car off. Anybody Me, in the back? My son and my mom. I'm here. Okay, to see can my I mom. see your ID, please? Stay in the car. Oh, okay. Just okay. close the door. There you go. Um, Let me see your ID. Driver's okay. license. Can you hold on a second? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We'll, t we'll explain it to you in a minute. Well, are you shopping today or anything? Yeah, yeah, Shauna. Yeah. Shauna, turn around. This went for my mom. You know what else? Um, there's there stuff in the back of the truck. Yeah, receipts. So turn around. Listen to the deputy. Shauna. Okay. Um, 
basically, here, here's what's Listen going on. Listen to the on. deputy, Shana. Keep your hands yeah. out of your purse. Well, I was trying to find okay. a seat. Okay, just let me have yeah. your purse. Here, here, here's what's going on, um, and I don't need you to say anything, but basically, we saw you guys there. We've got you guys on tape, so we know that you guys took that cake out of there without mm -hmm. paying for it, mm -hmm. so that's basically why we're here. Right, I'm going to have you have a seat in my car real quick. All right, step on over to my car. Yeah, I'm going to go inside and uh, recover the cake. Here it is. Well, this is what I'm taking with me then. All right. I'll be back with you in a little bit, okay, man? We'll talk again. Okay, yeah, no, no cat out? I'm thinking on him, even if I get enough PC, I'll do a JCR, I'll just release him to grandma. Okay, that sounds so, good. Um, so if you could just stand by, I've got I her will. out here. She's unsecured okay, right now. Okay, do we have a witness in route right um, now? Witness is in route right okay, now. Okay, great. Deputy Blanco is bringing him over. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, Cheryl, go ahead and come out of the car, please. Cheryl, I'm Shana. I mean, Shauna, Shauna, sorry. <laughs> Can you just go ahead and stand next to your son over here, please? Can we have him step yeah. out so now they can Step out a little bit more to your left and face the deputy's patrol car. So right now we have uh, being photographed. No, again. the witnesses are looking to see if you are the person that was in the store. Any word? And they're sticking their thumb up. They're sticking their thumb up. Okay, come back over here. Stand here. Nancy, come over here, son. Why is he? Why is he in trouble? Because I was involved. With he, but he's not going to go anywhere right now with oh. us. Okay. Okay. Only you are. Let me go ahead and and, and he's going to go okay, with his I'll grandma. Okay, so you'd be placed under arrest for conspiracy to commit burglary in the store, okay, because you were with your mom when she committed the theft and you helped her commit the theft. I'm going to take you over to your grandmother right now, and we're going to talk about uh, arranging your release to her custody. Okay. And then you'll go to court later and answer for the charges to a judge. All right. Okay, you understand that, Mom? Yeah. Okay. Let's come back here. Cuff's okay? This has got to be a lesson, man. Your mom's got to wise up. I didn't even know what we were doing. I thought we were supposed to just go shopping. That's well, what we were told. You're going to be given a court date, and you're going to answer to a judge and explain to him why you did what you did. Okay. Okay, I appreciate you being honest and forthright with the deputy when he asked you questions, and that's what you need to be. Okay? Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, good. All right. All right, Shauna. So what happened this afternoon? I walked in, and I just stole the cake, and I walked out. That was it. For what reason? Uh, I don't know. You know. I had money in my pocket. I had $100 of my own. It was a ten dollar cake. I don't know. Whose idea I'm was it? Stupid. It was mine. Is your idea? Yeah. Have a seat back in the car. Okay. Um, can you make sure he gets all the groceries out? There's milk and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'll let there. him know. You didn't steal that stuff, did you? No. Okay. No, she showed me the receipt. Okay. I had to make sure. I had to make sure. Right there. Okay. Okay. This one. That's my stuff. No, okay. My mom's receipts in the truck. No, okay. The only thing we're taking is the cake. Okay. We'll uh, get this back to the store, I guess, and see what they want to do with it. <laughs> All right, suspect just went northbound on Ella. He's in the wrong lane, heading northbound on the southbound lanes, Ella. Again, I'm taking wrong lane northbound. That's firm. If he's back on the northbound sides, of Ella, now we're approaching Greens. Okay, southbound of Greens. Approaching Greens Parkway. Parkway. He wrecked, he wrecked. He wrecked out. Tom 31 is lower by Hillsdale. Okay, so I have to ask what they say you can slow down. All right, we're still southbound. We're now passing west 40, west 34. West 34 is still southbound. Back up to North Main. He went straight through the red light North Main. He's, he is just smoking it. He is flying southbound. 401 Frank 34, all right. Houston, he just crashed out. South of Collingsworth. South, south of Collingsworth. He's on foot, running uh, east, I believe. On foot, eastbound. Eastbound in a field, I think. Lay over! 
Got it. I got him. of his ex-wife's uh, broke in the back door and uh, started beating them all down. I mean, beat down his ex-wife, her boyfriend, now, and her daughter. I mean, he, he broke in the back door. I mean, I've never seen a door kicked in like that. Okay. All thing I was trying to, try to tell you was, good job. I really mean to win, y'all. Man, do you know how long you ran? <laughs> I know, I just... No, no, seriously. I know, I ran a long time. I'm just like... Whose car is that? Miles. Good. You messed up. <laughs> this yeah, totaled. It, it's totaled, Bubba. And using it in the commission of any crime, your insurance ain't gonna cover it. You just lost it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Use it in the commission of a crime, therefore the insurance company went out and out on it. I, I, I know. What have right. you been to jail for? Never. Never? Never in your life? Well, Not for well, anything? Well, uh, but <laughs> no, but never got victim of nothing. Hey, like, look at me. <laughs> traffic tickets. Okay. What I'm saying? Sit up, man. Sit up on your bottom. And don't move from there. I'm not gonna move. All right. I'm going to tell you what happened tonight. What, I know what happened, but you go ahead and tell me your verdict. You got blood on her. No, 14, that's good. What happened tonight? There's a probe right there at your foot. I went to my ex-wife. I was talking to my ex-wife earlier today. We've been going to marriage counseling. Oh, there it is. And, no, we've been trying to get back together. Yeah. And, no, I'm sorry, y'all, man. I'm in law enforcement. It's just like, You're in law enforcement? I clicked. I clicked. A what? I clicked. What was the badge for? Kick off a lot, a lot, I've been like a lot of rich, lot of You should have just pulled over, man. I want, I wanted to. You had plenty of chances. You know how many lives you risked tonight with us trying to catch you? You know how many officers risked their lives tonight to catch you? Know. But you know, you know, I just like. You know what would have happened if an officer would have crashed out and died chasing after you? Can I get up now? The car destroyed now. Everything destroyed. It don't matter, man. If an officer would have got hurt chasing you tonight, you would have got the charge for that. You understand? Okay. You were silly. I was very silly tonight. All you had to do is pull over. I We'd have been a lot more gentle. I didn't feel like going to jail tonight. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> well, we'd like to know why you did You got us, HPD, who else? we have any ISD out there tonight? Yeah, we passed a couple of those and DPS. DPS, ISD. You had everybody, man. And a couple of helicopters. You know what's your part about it? Huh? We had them all. I tried to call you. I was long gone. I think yeah. they wouldn't got to be able to sleep. So you think this is fun, but this isn't no, funny for no, us, man. No, I, I want to go back and tell her I'm sorry. I don't like running 120 miles an hour. I want to go home tonight. No, I want to go home back and tell her I got I was, dogs I got to feed. I want to go back and tell her I was sorry, but... No, that's not happening. Write her a letter from jail. No, I know I know, I know, know I went to jail tonight, but... Yeah, you got to go, man. He was sliding from about a couple poles back coming into here. This is where it culminated. He trashed his car right into this here pole. He bailed out. He ran behind the houses over to our left. He refused my commands. Deployed Taser, got him in the side, and took him into custody from there. Just letting you know, I'm going to be the one filing in charge on you for the evading and everything. I'm sorry. I understand. And you know what? I told you earlier, I can respect what you said earlier. Because you, you apologized, you were manned up and everything like that. I, it's like this, man. I just, I'm just tired. Okay. I just really want to go home. Says he's never been in jail before, and now it's his first time. First time for everything. We're going to a neighbor dispute call. A couple of neighbors met up at the uh, community mailbox. It looks like they might have gotten into a fight. One of them got either punched or kicked in the back of the head. Uh, there's a couple of deputies already out. Looks like the uh, the aggressor fled and uh, is maybe holed up inside of his house. So um, we're going to try to assist. So what's the number you can on Sir, can I talk to you for a sec? How are you doing? Uh, I've been better. Okay. I'm Detective Duper of the Sheriff's Department. Can you tell me what happened? Well, he, I, we come back from dinner and I was walking into my garage and I uh -huh. heard, heard him go, hey, hey dude, like that. And I said, he goes, he asked, I don't even know his name, he doesn't know. He goes, are you done? I said, yeah. And he 
he says, can I talk to you for a second? I said, yeah. So we walked up here and he goes, he goes, the guy across the street said you were, he were talking about me. And I said, no, I wasn't talking about you. Uh -huh. And I said, well, I'm not here to fight. And when I turned, he hit me in the side of the head and I fell down. And then he, and my wife said he kicked me a few times. I don't know. I, I was kind of like. you think he lost, lost consciousness there for a minute? Or? I did for sure. Okay. And then I, I kind of came to and then I got up. And then I don't, and I started to walk away. I remember I was walking away and then he hit me again. And then my wife was yelling at him and she goes, don't, he's got a bad leg, he's got a bad leg. And he said, I don't give a about his leg. And then I was still kind of like dazed. And then. He then, didn't kick you in your bad leg, did he? Yes. Oh, he did? Yeah. Also? Okay. Okay. So. What, so what, did you have surgery on it or something? Or what was it? No. I, just, you know, I have a big knee brace I wear to work and stuff, you know. And when I was when he was yelling at me, I thought, "Oh my God, I don't I don't want to get in a fight right now. I, I I can't even put any weight in this leg. I'll be defenseless." And so that's why I was trying to be really cool, you know. Yeah. And then I turned around to to, to just to leave, you know. I thought it was over, and that's when he 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 punched me. Well, hopefully we'll uh, catch up with him later tonight. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sundays is usually his day where he's out, just walking back and forth across the street, you know, with the beers, you know, because we we've talked a couple times about it. He's got a big dog, and I've got nine grandkids. And the, the, the dog scared a couple of my grandkids, and I approached him one time about the dog. I said, hey, yeah. you know, we have a leash law. I said, that dog, it's a big dog. My grandkids are small. He's like, F you, man. I'm like, yeah. dude, come on. And I said, listen, if that dog does anything to one of my grandkids, then there's going to be, I go, just put him on a leash. Yeah. He goes, no, how about if I put you on a leash? No. I said, okay. So, you know. He's just one of those type of people. You can't really talk nah, to him. No, nah, no, nah. no. Let, let me just say, I want to take a look one more time. You turn this way so I can see. And is that is that cut over there? Or? I, okay. I don't know. I haven't looked yet. Okay. All right. All right, so my suggestion to you is to go seek medical aid. Yeah, you know, definitely. Because you never know. I know. Um, I'm, well, I'm pretty sore. You, you could get you could get a brain aneurysm yeah. or something going on up there. You may my not even realize it. My brain's kind of small. Well, <laughs> still, you never know. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Don. Okay, no problem. Okay, we'll talk okay. to you later. Looks like the uh, the aggressor is maybe holed up inside of his house. Looks like the garage door's open. Call the dog back. I'll get him back. Please don't shoot my dog. Call the dog Martin, back. Martin, come here. Marty, come here. Marty's cool. You Six. Marty's cool. He's Turn around away from me. Martin's going over there. I'm cool. Turn around away from me. Okay. Yeah. Put your hands up. I'll, I'll have my dad coming. Hold on. Don't don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I'm not moving. I, you don't have to shoot nobody. I'm cool. The neighbors are all watching. I'm Marty, cool. get over here. Back, back up, back up, back up here towards me. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. No, her. You come here. Come here. Back up towards me. Back. Come on, right now. I'm not doing nothing. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't want to shoot her. I don't want to shoot you. Okay, put your hands on top of your head. On top of your head. On top. On top of your head. Put your fingers together. Okay. Put your. I, okay, that's totally fine. We'll take care of that. But just give me a second here. I want you to hold the dog. I don't want anybody to get hurt. I'm not resisting anything. Okay, all right. I'm not resisting anything. I appreciate guys. that. I mean, yeah, I'm not looking for no trouble. Well, you know, I like, just okay. no, like I told I, you, I there's always two sides to every story. Martin is so good, he, all the neighbors know him. You know, the thing is, is that the uh, the dog doesn't know any better, and he sees me. Yeah, uh, going to, hi. I had the, he had his out here with his dog, and I was trying to yeah, make cool. sure the dog wasn't coming I'm, after I'm not me resisting, I, though. You guys all know like that, that, right? I don't you're, good, get you're, you're good, you're good. I don't want to get beat up. You're good. Well, tell, tell me about this thing. What happened earlier well, today? I made a mistake. <laughs> Obvi obviously, right? I made a mistake. Um, I didn't even know this. I mean, I've lived here for five years. Um, I don't even know that guy. But I know most of the neighbors. I'm not saying they all love me, but I know the neighbors don't like him. Whatever. Yeah. Saturday night. We were... Tell me what happened today. I says, hey, are you Don? And he says, yeah, uh -huh. I'm Don or whatever. And I said, well, I heard you had a, a problem with me that I'm a loud mouth. And I don't know if all what information I got is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're upset because yeah, hey, you heard I, this guy yeah, saying something you know, about you. What's, what's the problem? Uh -huh. And the guy is like in my face. You know, I mean, he's in my face. I mean, I don't want to do it to you, but, I, you know, he's on.